Look, can't complain, man. Everything's great. I'm Gucci, I'm straight. Nothing but positive vibes this way. Really just blessed to see another day. God done gave me a whole lot of grace. Welcome, greetings, Yin Yang Gang. Hello to you if you are new. I am so Pisces. I'm a simple star seed, and I intercess on behalf of all elements: earth, air, fire, water, and space. I represent space, spirit, sound, thought, love, pain. It's all the same. This is Gangstar Tarot. Let's go. So pretty much, I'm here to bring you wisdom that is remembered. Remember, wisdom is neither learned or obtained. It is remembered. Remember who you are. You are a star. Today for me is April 26th, 2021. It is Monday, a.k.a moon day or a day of the moon ruled by the moon so very powerful energies being that it is a super full moon as well as on a monday no coincidences here they do not exist so today for me is sunday um i mean sunday today is monday the sun is in taurus the moon is in scorpio and we are currently in a full moon phase at 100 percent illumination all righty and i'm going to give you guys um, you know, I'm going to feed you a little bit and then we're going to get right into the reading. Very, very juicy. So please, I want to share space with, space with you. Um, get you something to drink, get you a snack, light you a joint, get you a glass of wine, whatever it is that you do um, so that the, the spirit can really communicate with you how we how it needs to be, okay? All righty. So I got all this information from the old farmer's almanac. So today is the, the pink full moon. Um, and it's also a super moon. It is called this because pink moss grows in North America at this time. It's pretty much basically a pink herb. Um, it's also known as the flower moon, um, the egg moon, and the full sprouting grass moon. Okay. Um, crystals that you might want to be working with. As I'm going to do a full video on my other channel on some pyrite. A little some rose quartz. Today being... Uh, Monday, aka Moon Day, clear quartz, moonstone, selenite, anything like that is really going to help you pull in this energy. Also wearing black. Black is a protective color, but it also helps you to absorb what is around you. You know, it, we absorb heat. Uh, if you wear all black, it absorbs heat. Okay, so we're going to get right into the reading. So, Keepers of the Light, Guardian of the Light, Gaia is here. Okay, uh, be mindful of the planet and come back to Earth stay grounded so i'm really feeling with this card there's going to be a lot of earth connection really connecting with the elements fire air water working um with the elements in your practice in your spiritual life uh, from jesus blessed are the peacemakers for they shall be called the children of god matthew 5 and 9 um peacemakers blessed are the peacemakers peace is silent a lot of the times we look for the Holy Spirit and we want to yell and jump and scream and but the Holy Spirit is quite still and silent and peaceful. And um, it's funny because right after that on the mudra, angel number 26, peace came out. So inner peace, connection and acceptance. This is an um, air element. It directs breath and awareness to the upper chest and thymus, supporting the immune system, cultivates a sense of inner peace and self-healing. I embrace the peace that is always with me. So you would pretty much do your hands like this. Kind of cup it. Okay. And that is for peace. Kapota mudra. Okay. Okay, a little bit of... Um, from Jasmine Boland, we're going from this deck of the Moonology Oracle Cards. Um, communication is key, New Moon and Gemini. Okay. So I'm getting a lot of air energy. So far, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. Angel number three, a realization. The, is it waning or waxing? Waxing crescent one realizations. Okay, so that makes a lot of sense. So maybe when the moon is waxing um, You're going to be coming to a lot of realizations. So whenever the moon is waxing I'm just I just heard you probably want to journal uh, Jot down this would be every day journal and script every day, please But definitely during the the waxing moons. I feel like there's a realization um, a dark Like you're in the dark about something possibly coming into the light 
um, something that has been locked, um, some information or some resource that has not been available to you will now become available to you. Okay, spirit. Alrighty, and then these are these are two new decks that I just got, and I am loving them. Okay, the Green Witch is t Oracle, and uh, the Kitchen Witch. I'm gonna be doing a recordings on them, but I got lavender for you. So maybe a lot of you are needing to work. And with this earth connection, maybe really needing to connect with lavender, the herb itself, or needing sleep, however that applies to you. Maybe the color lavender. Lavender purple is a very magical color. Very a good a, a very good color to work, to use while working. Okay, Pluto's going in retrograde tomorrow. I'm like, what planet is going in retrograde? Why can't I talk? Whenever a planet, it doesn't have to be Mercury. Whenever planets go in retrograde, I am highly affected by the planets as above, so below. Sorry about that. Um, so definitely either needing some sleep or needing to connect with the lavender or maybe needing to connect with the color purple. So if you're a Gemini tuning in today, this is definitely for you, okay? Because I'm getting Gemini energy, leadership, broccoli. Um definitely Gemini Libra energy in this reading today broccoli however that means for you so angel number six that is a relationship number um I'm feeling like you're focusing on your broccoli your bread your moolah that's what I'm just straight getting getting on this really feeling um leadership as far as money goes um now, just getting to the broccoli itself, you may just need to connect yourself with green vegetables or being out, connecting with earth, being in a green, quote unquote, environment. Okay, and then we got for the spirit animal, we have Fox Clever. You are swift and smart. Solutions to problems are easily found. Always listen to your instincts. Resources surround you. Be open to romance. Wow, that just makes so much sense because I predict for you all coming up in May, okay, uh, Mercury and Venus are going into conjunction. Please look forward to that um, message that the Spirit will be bringing. Um, but I really feel a lot of love doors being unlocked, a lot of realizations as far as love goes. Communication is going to be key. There's going to be peace brought into relationships. Blessed is the peacemaker. So the one that is trying to keep the peace in the relationship, I'm believing that that's you because you tuned into my channel. You will be blessed. So now we're going to get into the tarot and then I'm going to send you out with some love reading. So not really long today. A lot, a lot of information here. Um, and we'll see where the spirit takes us. This is just the overall energy for the collective. This is all signs, um, full moon and Scorpio reading. All signs. Alrighty, Spirit. Um, the moon will reach its peak at approximately 10.32 Eastern Standard Time. If you would like to do um, any full moon rituals. I'm going to be uploading. I, the Spirit is calling me to be to come out of my comfort zone. So on my other channel, I'm going to be actually uploading my full moon rituals. Which is totally not what I want to do. But transparency. So if you're into doing any new moon rituals, rituals are pretty much just prayers with intent, um, with tools. The, our weapons of this world are not carnal, but spiritual. So we can't fight with swords and guns. We fight with crystals and sage and candles, right? Okay. Clear message is spirit. My yin yang yang for all of us, for the collective in general surrounding this full moon in Scorpio. April 26, 2020. What is it that you want us to know? Besides peace, sleep, leadership, clever realization, communication. What is it that you would like us to know, Spirit? Clear messages, please. So we have the hanged man in reversed as well as the knight of cups. So definitely this is confirming some realizations as far as love goes. There's been some kind of manipulation. Uh, the knight of cups is a very manipulative uh, energy. And there's going to be some kind of eye-opening realization. A realization of this energy. Okay, I'm also getting this as an obstacle. So there's some sort of manipulation. 
to see as far as love goes. Cups is love. Then Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Okay, so it seems that some earth sign may have some of you up at night. Maybe you are an air sign and you're up at night uh, tripping on a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Gemini, Aquarius, Libra tripping on a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. There's an, a knight of pentacles in reverse. Um, an earth sign that has you up. Now, for some of you, this could also be a money situation um, that is keeping you up at night mentally. Um but for a lot of you, we've got the three of swords on the bottom. I'm getting heartbreak. Realization. Communication is key. But there will be peace. King of swords. Okay. King of swords. This is this card is all about taking action. They're all, your, all of your thoughts. Everything that you've been dwelling on. Everything that you've been working on mentally is uh you're needing to take action on these things. Okay. So, yes, communication is key. Communication would be the female. Um, aspect of that so now we are needing the masculine we are needing to take action on our mental whatever you've been thinking four of cups in reverse so we are refusing so maybe there's an offer that's going to come and um we're going to refuse it because of this realization um but this is going to bring some type of light into your situation some type of aha moment <laughs> high priestess yes so if you are wondering if maybe you should start a tarot oracle channel, you should. High Priestess energy here. Okay, for some of you, um, Eight of Cups, Six of Swords, and Seven of Pentacles, all in reverse. Needing to walk away from something, needing to walk away from some type of relationship. It could be a, it could be a significant other, it could be a mother, it could be a brother, it could be a friend. Um, we've got a lot of mental baggage that we're still holding on to something that is over. And this is definitely going to affect your money. Seven of Pentacles, there's something that you've been working on, something that you've been growing, but it hasn't been able to come into fruitation because we are not taking action. Um, King of Wands and the High Priestess. Very sexy energy here. Very beautiful here. Um, for somebody, this is a specific somebody. There is somebody who is like wanting you romantically. And you're like, no. No. And that's okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. All right. I'll take it. So right now we have Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So maybe for a lot of you, money is just not looking good. Or maybe it's just not the money that you're expecting. Or maybe it's not flowing how you want it to flow. But the spirit is saying that there's a tower moment, okay? Scorpio energy. Tower moment that is either has taken place, will, um, is right now or will. You know, past, present, future, wherever this uh, lines for you, but there's a tower moment that is going to cause you to go dark, to go deep, to kind of become an introvert that is going to bring you a lot of money that is ultimately going to give you rest, but it doesn't look like, I mean, you're going to need, you need sleep, but it doesn't look like we are going to get sleep. It looks like we need to get in action. It's like, you're already tired. How, oh, I almost want to cry. Somebody's already tired. Like, how am I going to keep going? How am I going to keep going? Working with lavender. Being able to balance your sleep. Okay, I'm going to give you all some love and I'm out. As always, I speak blessings over G Certified and all of the members involved. for allow me to use their music here on the channel. Please also check me out on Instagram, Twitter. I'm so Pisces. Um, 11 on Twitter. And I'm so Pisces Gang Star Tarot 7777 on Instagram. Messages of love. Love is a, such a powerful energy. Okay, so for some of you, um, especially if you're a Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, you are needing to free yourself. Um, it is time to take back control of your life. Free yourself from a codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So you need to free yourself from 
a codependent relationship or you need to free yourself from an addiction addictions come on in all forms it could be a substance it could be youtube it could be tarot and oracle cards can become somewhat of okay spirit okay this just came through download so from a lot a lot of yourself you are freeing yourself okay you are freeing yourself from this codependency from these addictions okay but you're being a little hard on yourself you're just being a little hard on yourself so you need to bring some playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit to shine and this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek so please stay tuned wow spirit i'm even blown away because the spirit was telling me you know here coming up in may with mercury and venus coming into conjunction there's going to be a lot of twin flame soulmate vibes like karmic relationships coming together um so you need to free yourself from some type of relationship or codependency um now this person that you need to free yourself from this could be the one this could actually be the one which makes absolutely no sense. Remember, the spirit makes no sense. We cannot think. We are in the 3D. We cannot function in the 5th, 6th, and 7th dimensions all the time. So being here in the 3D, this could be the one. But they could need some more work. Or you could need some more work. Or both could need some more work. Which really, it looks like in this reading, all parties involved would need work. Especially if there's codependency. And needing to bring a playful youthfulness back into your energy. Back into your life. And I think this was your realization. Like, you know what? I've just been too serious. Yes, you are a leader. And you are very clever. But you need to get some sleep. You need peace time. You need time out in nature. And communication. Communication is key. So with that, with the communication popping up, I'm also getting with this part that maybe there's somebody that you just stopped communication with. And I really feel like stopping communication is not going to heal the relationship. I feel like there are some things that still need to be said that need to come out in your own time. There will be some realizations of some manipulations. Uh, but communication is going to be key. If you're like, no, I don't ever want to talk to this person ever again in life. Shh, that's not, that's not going to be healthy for you. Alrighty, well, that's all I got for you guys today. Remember, as above, so below. This game's our tarot. I gotta go. I already know that a nigga I should get into the paper. Yeah, I'm getting to the paper. Bunch of blue Benjamin Franklins with the big faces. And a whole lot of layers. Yeah, I'ma chase them. You can say the hustle in my nature. G certified money.